Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going back to basics. What do I mean by that? Well, if you guys know anything about, you know, the older videos I used to post on this channel, the, the things I used to talk about and, uh, you know, put on this channel, which was basically, again, it was a real vlog, you know, just talking about my life and my journal, like a journal, you know, and in my, my life and uh, the things that were going on around me and, my, and all this other stuff. So, you know, again, long story short, that's what we're gonna start doing again on this channel. This, this episode might be very short, you know what I mean? Um, but I just wanted to, you know, reiterate, you know what I mean? The fact that, you know, now we're gonna start not just doing new content, all kinds of new content, man, which you guys have already seen, you know, like whether I was live streaming, just playing some video games or, you know, just doing, again, a regular live stream or, you know, posting, all, you know, other videos and stuff like that. Um, what I'm gonna be doing uh, as well is because it is gonna start, you know, talking about my life, my personal life, you know, things that go on, uh, you know, uh, the nitty gritty of certain things, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's been a lot of things going on, you know what I mean? Just, uh, you know, in general, not just the craziness has been going on around the world, but, um, but even here. And um, so I, I need a place where I can start venting again, which is here, start motivating again, which is here, and start just speaking my mind again saying whatever the hell comes to my mind hey, which is here um, and I know you really really love these videos and this content and you know I'm not gonna lie to you you know what I mean like I got I, I don't think it was burnt out because I'm still making content have been making content and other stuff but I, I did get burned out by some of the people out there and it had nothing to do with you guys in the audience or or anything like that um, yes yeah, you know we got this guy here that's uh, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I didn't want to I didn't want to get runned over, you know, just let him uh, get out there first. But anyways, um, as I was saying, you know what I mean? A lot of just a lot of people, you know what I mean? Um, out there, you know, with a certain narrative and a certain agenda and a certain way of thinking, you know, have just uh, been overwhelming. And again, not necessarily in my channel or anything to do with my content or anything like that. No, nothing at all. You know, I don't really have a problem with trolls per se. I, I love trolls. Uh, you know, I, I love chatting with you guys in the, in the comment section and uh, wherever else you guys reach out to me. You know me. <laughs> I, that's not what bothers me or worries me. No. The thing is, it's just as I talked about in other episodes, you know, as I made them last year about the zombie apocalypse, everything going on and yada, yada, yada. And uh, very recently, very, very recently, it's, it affected me here locally. And um, you guys already know, I walk around without my mask. I live in an area of Mexico in which everyone wants to wear their mask. Now, yes, yeah, slowly but surely, people are taking that mask off, but for the most part, you know, people really, really want to live, you know, with the mask and they want to live under fear and COVID restrictions and yada, yada, yada. Well, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is that the Mexicans that live here, you know, they allow me to be me, they allow you to be you, they, um, again, allow you to live and let live. So as long as you don't bother them, they're not gonna bother you and vice versa. And uh, you might not wear a mask and they're still gonna treat you nice and uh, cordially and yada, 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 or vice versa, you know what I mean? Because they don't let things like that really, really um, dictate their behavior. But what's going on? I live in an area of, you know, Mexico where there's a lot of expats, a lot of a heavy influence of, of expats. And because of that, you know, these expats that mainly come from the United States of America and Canada, you know, they are now all of a sudden trying to come out here and impose their ways. And, you know, I've talked about it many times where that's not necessarily a horrible thing, you know what I mean? Especially if you bring in like awesome, you know, food and culture and all kinds of cool things like that, you know what I mean? But when it's uh, just um, trying to bring an ideology that doesn't even, you know, fit into the peg here. Um, they're, and they're trying to like force it in, or, you know, it's um, um, not just an ideology, but a narrative, and I could go on and on, um, then it's not, it's not fun anymore. And um, like I said, I, I recently got banned from a local expat Facebook group, <laughs> only because I posted one of my videos um, about Mexico in that Mexico group, basically saying, if you hate masks, don't come here. If you love masks, come here. I don't know how that was really controversial, but that was controversial enough because this group wants everyone to wear masks around the world at all times. Tr double, triple, quadruple masks. 
and that's okay i mean whatever you know to each their own you know let people do you know as they want and as they please you know right um but again not everybody sees the same way when it comes to these things so um yeah you know what i mean so that's starting to get a little heated there and so at least for me personally um you know now i just need to vent you know what i mean more than anything else because i've noticed that there's a lot of people that think like me out here and um they are just a small minority and this is something that's happening and affecting our own countries of origin and um it's affecting us in a very very bad and negative way which is why a lot of us are you know trying to escape that and leave that but if i'm you know we're all coming out here and they're trying to bring all that toxic vitriol with them man that's not gonna work out too well so with that being said i gotta get inside real quick because i gotta get me some coca-cola <laughs> and uh, as soon as i get that we're gonna walk back home and i'm gonna finish my thoughts on this and uh and i hope you guys are enjoying this you know what i mean just uh you know daily affirmations with jose or something like that now by the way i'm gonna be making a lot of these videos i don't know if, i don't know if they're gonna be daily or not but i'm gonna be making these videos and other videos going forward and then all the content and um you know this month is still gonna be a little slow but coming march we're gonna get back to kicking on all cylinders you know not just on this channel but all the other channels and all the other content so all right without further ado let me get in there and get some uh some fattening sweets So yeah guys a little bit of uh behind the scenes <clears throat> as you guys can see i'm still processing some videos that i gotta upload and you know this is a whole process this takes a long time um yeah right now you guys are waiting for me you know to finish my transactions inside the oxo and so yeah you're just now hanging out with me inside the house i know I'm trying to keep you guys you know all over the place you know we in the matrix up in here but yeah you know again i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a you know a bird's eye view of everything here you know what i mean like not just what i do but my daily life and and that's it you know what i mean we're just going to start journaling all this because just from my own past experience you know watching my older videos you know from back when i lived in seattle lived in la lived everywhere it's like man wow how awesome not only do i have the memories but i have like a literal you know a little mini movie or a mini documentary or something of that moment in time in my life and so that's why i do these things that's why i think a lot of us do these things not everybody but i do see i'm gonna miss at some point when i'm not living in this house anymore i'm gonna miss you know the dogs you know barking across the street you know gizmo going out there you know to, to bark at those particular dogs you know this particular neighborhood my awesome amazing neighbors you know things like that look to right after i'm done here i'm literally making time i'm waiting for this to finish here because i have to go as you guys can see you know what i mean that's what i was wearing all right um and i got my bag full i literally have to go see four different people you know what i mean um everywhere from uh seeing a client to going to a store to you know again i literally have to get me some um new things for my shoes um which i call it i went to the orthopedic doctor yesterday you know got that for me and all that good stuff so yeah that's it i mean that's basically it you know what i mean we're just out here doing things you know we got christian over there you know next door you know uh, she's you know working literally um on a million things you know whether it's her art projects or you know she's doing a bunch of things online as well um you know you guys will find out soon enough and so on and so forth and, and that's it you know here's my kitchen you know we're still here i just haven't had any content you know coming from the cooking channel because i've just been so crazy busy and all that stuff and it's already starting to get hot as you guys can see so you already know what's up so all right guys I gotta get out of here. I know that thing's almost done. I gotta finish getting dressed and um, gotta start heading out because I know the, the videos is almost done. Right? Almost? Almost. So, alright guys. Let's uh, finish the rest of the video, okay? And uh, we'll see you guys at the end. I'm show you a little bit more about my day. I know you want a little more attention. So, one of the things that I got to do today, um, as part of the things that I got to do today, I got to do a lot of things. Um, as you guys see, I got my bike here. I'm basically at a friend's house, just babysitting their dog. Um, you guys probably know already who I'm talking about. Um, but regardless, the point is, is that again, you know, I just wanted to show you a little bit more about my day. 
Um, so yeah, so first stop today, I had to, you know, um, come over here, make sure that she had water, had food, brought her inside, you know, put the fan on. That's probably that noise that you hear in the background. And then ne the next stop, I, like I already said, I gotta go get my my shoe insoles. All right, Let's see. All right, I gotta go get that for my for my shoes. And then the next thing I'm gonna go do is then go see another friend all right i gotta go take care of something there you know friends slash client we're gonna work on something real quick and then uh, i'm heading back home and once i get home i gotta edit this video because i'm gonna see if i can upload as soon as i can i gotta edit a few other videos that i've been filming as you guys already know as i'm on my bike riding around the city i'm this for my other channel you know talking about mexico and all that good stuff so you know jam-packed full of stuff so um, I think I'm gonna be enjoying making this kind of content as I'm already making it right now So, you know, we're gonna be making more and more of this content I would love to know what you guys have to say what you guys think about, you know, what I'm doing here um, But yeah, this is gonna be part of the new stuff coming on this channel as you guys already know You know, whether it's playing video games or this or other live streams uh, You already know plus I got remember the cooking live channel. We got the podcast, you know, we got the Mexico channel which again, we're gonna be going on a trip real soon, me and, uh, me and Christian, you know, we're gonna go on, uh, to Oaxaca, so we're gonna be, you know, obviously vlogging, filming that, and uh, bringing it to you guys. So that's why, you know, I'm gonna be kind of on and off, you know, uh, on this channel, but back in, you know, once March starts, which, you know, a few weeks, um, yeah, that's it, we're gonna go back to, you know, uh, balls to the wall, as they like to say, you know what I mean? Uh, no, you know, just uh, starting to make, uh, starting to, going back to being a content creating machine, so, with that being said, look at her. Look at that. What a life, huh? What a life. All right. I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right. We're done with that. So, as you guys can see, I do comply with whatever laws, restrictions, you know, that they have out here, because I have to. Um, but again, I don't have to right now and that's it and so yeah I, I personally don't mind getting looked at by everyone for not wearing mine and that's not a big deal you know what I mean uh, but again you know I keep hearing over and over again you know of a lot of individuals out there that keep getting called out I'm talking about just locally here you know they're just hanging out doing their thing in Merida and um, as, as an expat or a tourist and then they get approached by other expats or tourists to put on your damn mask to do this to can you know comply and it's like no nah, man we're not we're not in america anymore you know we're not in canada anymore we're not in any of these places anymore and so here people can do what the fuck they want all right and people are going to start realizing that whether they like it or you know the hard either either the hard way or the hard way you know what i mean because that's it you know what i mean like i'm i'm, I'm getting kind of pissed as like a lot of other people that live out here are getting pissed that this small minority all right is dictating the behavior for everybody else or trying to okay and uh that's it you know what i mean it's just not it you know what i mean like let, let me in. you guys know i am in mexico um by the way i am sorry it is crazy windy today um uh, must be that uh that global warming or is it the ice age i don't know something's going on right but anyways the point is we'll find out in a few years anyways the point i'm making is that uh I live in Mexico and the Mexican president, for anyone that has no, is not aware, I'm gonna make you guys aware right now. The Mexican president, okay, said no masks, no lockdowns, no nothing, all right? No nothing, all right? Enough of this shit. Now, yes, each state has their own sovereignty, okay? I am in the state of the Yucatan. And the governor, the governor here, and the government, and the people here can do whatever they want. You, you follow me? Like, you know, if they don't, if they are not down with, you know, certain things, they can change certain things. But the reality is that we got to keep reminding and we're forgetting. Again, we're we're not in the United States. We're not in all these other places where you lost your freedoms yet. They, people have not lost their freedoms here, as you guys can see. So, the government can do anything they want here. As long as they don't break the Constitution, as long, as long as they don't go against the Constitution. So, as you guys already know, lockdowns are anti-constitutional. Forcing you to wear your mask, anti-constitutional. Again, here, the president has already gotten to the to this extreme of saying, you don't have to wear it at all, period, end of story, anywhere. 
all right he's like 70 100 million years old and he got the the, the disease and he's fine all right and he and he said he's not wearing it you know what i mean so and again it's not even about any of this i don't want to hear oh science i don't want to hear oh you don't care about others i don't want to hear any about any of that you know what i mean because i'm not going to play into that game all right i do care about others in fact i care so much about others that i'm just doing simple math and i see wait a minute there's more people starving more people you know again dying from starvation dying from um you know not working dying from suicide dying from you know drug overdoses dying from you know all of these other things the economy in the of the world is in shambles the whole world is falling apart and um you know they that group that small group out there is saying that it's totally fine and totally okay to destroy the lives of the, the world you know just to save a handful of people theoretically you get what i'm saying so no all right i am not you know going to play into this game and so since now in a sense it, it is official and again whether it's official or not official you know i have now been officially ostracized in my own city for speaking my words but i have also been i don't know held up on the shoulders of giants for speaking my truth so at the end of the day i see you know that um some other individuals out there and i'm sure you guys a lot of you guys can relate a lot of you guys are probably dealing with a lot of these same things in your neighborhood your life your whatever but anyways long story short you know another group has basically another you know um another group which is a small minority has basically now you know gone to the extreme of spreading fake news and saying things like that you have to wear your mask at all times out here that you have to do this and you have to do these all the all these things that are no they're, they're one million percent wrong and is uh literally again you know what they're saying is that you know they're actually propagating you know fake news and fake uh, um stuff out there and they're probably gonna get in trouble if they keep it up because at the end of the day you know it's all about laws and uh, what you're doing out here and if you're an expat and you're out here spreading fake news oh boy you know what i mean and you're going you're doing political things you know what i mean you're starting to get political out here that's not good i'm not getting political i don't know fuck you know you already know how i stand on all politics they're all corrupt they're all pieces of shit they're all in the same boat they're all playing the same game as george carlin used to say um it's one big party one big uh one big club and you ain't in it all right <laughs> we ain't in it so <laughs> so with that being said like i don't want to hear you know what i mean i don't want to fucking hear you know i keep getting things like oh this guy's going uh against uh you know talking about me this guy's going against a lot of the things that the governor's saying and shit like that i'm like no 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 you know what i mean like i'm complying 100,000 percent with everything that the local government is saying but you know people are choosing to read you know the mandates and the laws and the regulations and all the shit that they want and um i said well, that's and again if i was really doing anything illegal or doing anything that would you know really be you know again you know considered you know uh no no uh, man you know i would have already been in trouble seven billion times over i'm not in trouble i, don't, I get why the fucking cops are fucking friends with me you get what i'm saying the the local the, the guy that was just waving at me was uh, that guy right there well you can't see it now but he works for the local government get the fuck out of here you know what i mean i don't want to hear it so and that's what bothers them and irks them you know the fact that they, they see you know police officers in my videos not giving a fuck they see other people you know what i mean they see so many other things and they're gonna see more things like that so again today's video is just for me to vent because i just needed to vent and so you know going back to that you know i just you know we're already getting back to my home here so i'm gonna i'm just gonna put an end to this and i'm gonna leave you guys in a little bit of a cliffhanger let me know what you guys think about this video let me know what you guys think about this kind of content talking about my thoughts talking about what i have to say what i have to what i'm thinking you know and so on and so forth because you know I, you guys already know I, I was taking a little bit of a sabbatical you know many reasons we'll get into all that as more you know as, as i make more of these but um yeah guys you know what i mean at the end of the day um yeah you know what i mean the real reason I, I really started this vlog to begin with many moons ago was so that i can talk to you guys and express myself and in a sense you know um we can help each other and so far has gotten me very very far so far has gotten me you know um to almost 4,000 subscribers you know again that's why i haven't given up on this channel it keeps growing and growing and growing and i'm never going to give up on this channel 
just like you guys haven't given up on me i'm never going to give up on you so with that being said guys i love you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon don't forget to stay awesome and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm really really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this and again i got so much more to say and i can't wait to say it so i'll see you guys on the next one bye oh look hold on before i go gizmo hold on look gizmo's uh barking at the little dogs over there so again i want to show you a little bit more about my life gizmo hey he wants to play with the dogs all right i'll talk to you later bye